In Syria today, at least two people were killed and five wounded in homes as villages fell under heavy gunfire, according to the Syrian Observatory for Human Rights. This follows Monday's killing of at least 100 people, many of them soldiers attempting to desert an army base in northwest Idlib province in one of the bloodiest days in the nine-month-long unrest. The Arab League announced today it is sending peace monitors to the isolated country. They're expected to arrive Thursday. For more, we're joined by Anna Nestad, Associate Director from Emergencies at Human Rights Watch and co-author of the report, By All Means Necessary. She joins us from Paris. Welcome to FSRN. Hello. Reports estimate that a majority, perhaps 60, of the people killed by security forces yesterday were soldiers attempting to desert in northern Syria. Your report draws on interviews with soldiers who have defected. What did your research find about how decisions are being made by commanders in President Assad's military forces? Our interviews with defectors, first of all, corroborate the information that we have collected earlier, namely that killings and torture and large-scale arbitrary detention is being committed in Syria. But they also add an extremely important component, they answer a very important question, which is, who is responsible for these crimes? Uh, All of the defectors talked to us about both standing and direct orders that they received from their commanders at different levels. And all of these orders basically authorize them to use lethal force against the protesters. And I want to bring out one of those examples from the report, which documents eyewitness accounts from within the military. One of the incidents describes what happened just before 40 people were killed. Uh, An army defector says of a superior officer, quote, uh, he stood in front of the whole brigade. He said, use heavy shooting. Nobody will ask you to explain. There seems to be a sense of immunity for these actions. Absolutely, and one of the reasons we are now trying to push for accountability at the international level for referral of the Syrian situation to the International Criminal Court is exactly this climate of impunity. Uh, There is absolutely no accountability, despite the widespread and systematic abuses that uh, uh, that are taking place. He cited just one example, and uh, we have dozens of such examples in the report, Uh, where it's quite clear the allegations are extremely serious and they should be at least investigated. However, nobody in Syria is bothering to investigate such allegations. And here I'm referring to the highest levels of the Syrian government who are not doing anything to stop the bloodshed and bring the perpetrators to justice. Well, the title of the report is By All Means Necessary. Where does that come from? This is also a quote, by all means necessary, that's a quote from uh, one of the defectors whom we interviewed, and all of the defectors told us that they universally understood that as an authorization to use lethal force, to use live ammunition against the protesters. You mentioned the use of lethal force. The UN estimates that more than 5,000 people have been killed so far. Your report also goes into arrests, torture and detention. Uh, What did you find about other forms of crackdown? Exactly. In addition to uh, large-scale killings, and we did not carry our own statistics, but the the incidents that we did document uh, confirmed that uh, these figures are probably close to the truth and uh, the real numbers are probably much higher. But we also talked to uh, wit- victims and witnesses and also defectors about uh, a massive, large-scale campaign of arbitrary detentions. Uh, again, the numbers are impossible to verify, but uh, we are very likely talking about tens of thousands of people who were arrested arbitrarily with uh, no legal procedure involved, and the vast majority of them were subjected to the most brutal forms of torture. The Arab League is scheduled to send these observers to the country. Uh, There's been a a big problem with uh, verifying those who are in detention. Do you feel like the observers will be able to have access, will be able to uh, get the information they need to properly assess the situation within Syria? I have serious concerns in this respect. Uh, We know about certain journalistic tours that Syrian authorities have conducted before when they brought in journalists and basically uh, allowed them only to see what they were willing to show. I hope that the Arab League observers are uh, much more insistent on being independent and that they 
uh, stick very closely to the mandate of their mission, which has to be independent observation of what's happening in Syria. But so far, we've seen so many broken promises by um, Assad's regime that I would not be entirely optimistic. The report is called By All Means Necessary, Individual and Command Responsibility for Crimes Against Humanity in Syria. It's out from Human Rights Watch. Anna Nestat is one of the co-authors of the report. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you.